24, and I want to share with you, this is out of Luke chapter 22, verses 7 through 22. It says, And the day of unleavened bread came, on which the Passover must be sacrificed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and make ready for us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou be make, we make ready? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house whereinto he goeth. And ye shall say unto the master of the house, The teacher say unto thee, Where is the guest chamber? Where I shall eat the Passover of my disciples. And he will show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour has come, he sat down with the, and the apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I shall not eat it until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he received a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it amongst yourselves. For I say unto you, I shall not drink from henceforth of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. And the cup, in like manner, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, even that which is poured out for you. We're, we've come now to observe the ordinance of the Lord's Supper, of his broken body and his shed blood. And that's what we're to, to memorialize this morning. When we partake of the Lord's Supper today, I want you to remember, as, as we, in one accord, as one body, partake of that bread, represents the body of the one who died for us. As we partake of the, the juice, it is the blood of the one who, who shed that blood for you and I. So he took the, the bread and he blessed it. And he said, this is my body which was given for you. Brother Ryan, will you pray over the bread for us? Father God, we just praise you for this, this ordinance and for the sacrifice that was done to make to give it its meaning, Lord, and to make it possible. God, I just pray that you cleanse all of us, Lord, cleanse our hearts. God, just uh, we praise you for your work. God, forgive us for any failures. I pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Remember to hold on and we'll eat it in one accord as one body this morning.
John 6, 58 says, This is the bread which came down out of heaven, not as our fathers ate and died. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. On that same night, the Lord took, our, took the cup, and having blessed it, gave to his disciples and said, This is the blood that has been shed for you. Again, may you hold on to this, and in one accord, let us take it together. Brother Ted, will you pray over the wine for us? Thank you, Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, it says, And according to the law, I may almost say, all things are cleansed with blood. And apart from the shedding of blood, there is no remission. 1 John 1, 7 says, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. For as often as ye eat the bread and drink the cup, ye proclaim the Lord's death till he comes again. 
Hallelujah. We do this this morning in remembrance to remember the price that was paid for our spiritual freedom. Amen? Let me lead us in a word of prayer. Father God, thank you for this memorial that you've given us that we can do in remembrance of you, the taking of the bread that represents your body that was broken for us and the sharing of the wine that represents the blood that was spilt for us so that we can go out into the world and proclaim you as Lord of not just our lives, but Lord of all. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This morning, if, if God's laid it on your heart to, to, to just hug someone and to let them know that God still reigns, do so. Whatever it is God's laid on your heart, but proclaim him everywhere you go this day. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's all stand one more time. And Brother Stormy, do you mind closing us out in a word of prayer this morning? Thank you.